Welcome back. Going into the third hour here, Adam. What's going on? So we um, we fade back in on uh, the surface of um, like a table on the Swan Song, one of the mess hall tables, and sitting on it, uh, there's a um, like a cord, like a lanyard cord, and a plastic uh, ID badge. Uh, it's got a picture of uh, slightly less terrified, pained looking uh, Lauren. Uh, underneath it says Lauren Stavropoulos. It's got a barcode. Um, and it says like white hot couriers, uh, with, like a logo with a little comet swoop on it. Um, and we pan back from that and we're, I don't know, where's, did you, where did you take her on board? Is she in the auto dock getting her like arm looked at or, and you're all like talking about how to handle it late her or are you in all in the, the medical room together wait, or wait, did wait, you wait. just like forego that and let her be hurt? Adam, this is not white hot, the, uh, music brand as well, is it? <laughs> No you know, the ones that signed the famous jizz band? The, uh... Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, they, they've really yeah. been expanding. White Hot now owns a music label, White Hot Jizz. And... Nice. <laughs> there it is. Just, just, just throwing those is. softballs and I just boop. Uh, jizz so gets anyway. me every time. <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, Lauren, that's her, her ID badge, and we, we pan away from that. Where, where is she? Somebody help me help me figure out this scene. Where, what do you do with her, basically, when you get her on board this one song? I feel like I, she probably wouldn't be able to talk too much unless we actually fixed her arm, or else they're just most of me screaming. Yeah. She'd go to the auto dock. Okay, right. are you there with her, or is are like is Pi in there taking care of her while you're all strategizing, or what's? The I could be for? like guarding inside or something like that. Y'all, wait, can be we outside. all know that she's obviously not the person we're looking for. Right. So, is is there a strategy outside of just find out who hired her? Well, maybe that's maybe that's what you're talking about now, right? Like, yeah, okay. I think Eric is with her, and the rest of us are in like the mess hall or whatever. And I just kind of plainly state to the room like. This character seems to be using other people and is less direct. There's a good chance that they were watching us in this interaction. They are very different from other bounty hunters that I know more about, but this one seems to use agents. Well, I mean, this is Piani's show, so... Piani, do, what do you want to do? I'm reading oh, high levels of salt in your system right now. Is there... No, I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. <laughs> Increase salt, Captain. <laughs> um, well, let's let's go in and just find out who created the surface order. Did we uh, did we let the the druggie go? Is he gone? I believe he left the scene in the chaos, but he is yeah. of no more consequence for us. I do not think. But I unless do it have... was him all the time, and it was it ends up being yeah. That's gonna. Game. Man, I'm gonna love teasing Piani about that if that was the case. About Hope that's what? not the case. If if, Ad, if he's right, if that was the person all along. <laughs> I thought you were smarter than that, Higgs. It's also worth noting that we should ask her what questions she asked him when they got there. We saw Mr. Song looking for something, but we do not know what. Perhaps she was asked to, to ask him where we are or if he's been followed or something. She knows more. We can get this. We could also follow the paper trail. She had to have been paid, especially if she works for White Hot, which I know quite well. No, he doesn't say that part, but he says that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, well, should we go in together? I think y'all should go in, get what you want, and then I'll go in as good cop afterwards. It's an old method used back in the day. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll be listening in. Me and Pi will tell stories to each other. So, Adam, while yeah. they're out discussing, and I'm helping set up the auto dock and everything, can I just like make a persuade roll to be like, so if you tell us who you're working for, then we can let you go, and everything will be fine. We'll even fix your arm for you. Uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, baby. Come on. I really want it to work. I am terrible at persuading. I know, oh, my God. I am I'm super you do bad. <laughs> I'm going to get that 12, and it's going to be amazing. No, no, I'm not. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, so we hello, you work for White Hot, right? I heard they're a music label. <laughs> 
So she's, yeah, she's, like, quiet, um, obviously in pain, but has moved from, like, shock to, like, cold sweats, and is, like, every move hurts, but she's trying really hard to seem tough. Mm. She's also, and I, I don't know, Eric probably wouldn't re- notice this, but if we see her from an outside perspective, she's really scared. Um, she's on a ship with a bunch of armed strangers, and, uh, yeah, and you're having this awkward conversation with her. Um I used yeah. to work for a delivery crew once. It was very nice, until I went to this one place. I didn't like it there. Have you ever had a delivery like that? It's like holding her arm. She shakes her head. It's like, uh, no. Oh, you're know. very lucky then. Sometimes they can go really wrong. Here, put your keeps, arm in this strap. As, as she keeps looking at the auto dock like, are you just bringing me in here to jerk me around? or? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm, I'm talking about this while I'm like setting. Okay. Up. Cool. So the autodoc sedates. The autodoc gives her like a uh, um, uh, local anesthetic, <clears throat> and she she like you can you can see the pressure come off where she can like start to breathe a little bit more. And I think that's when um, the rest of you uh, approach or whoever else is going to come in and do the the good cop bad cop situation with her. Yeah, um, yeah I just I kind of come in. It's and uh, just ask. We're going to ask you a few questions. When you came in to the scene, you asked Mr. Song something, and he looked around. What did you ask him? Oh, I, I just I asked him if he was expecting, ah, and like the auto doc is like whining and like doing stuff, um, and, and she says if he was expecting a package, I was just making sure it was the right guy. The little like arm thing inflates and like holds her arm in place. Do you know what you delivered? No, no. Most of the time, I don't. <clears throat> Uh, sorry. I, I don't know anything about him. Elfair just kind of stares at her. But you know who it is. Huh? But you know who it is. Who the delivery was for? Who hired you? You know at, who hired As he's you. staring at her, his hair turns into the Sherlock Holmes hat, by the way. <laughs> a little, little mm-hmm. hover pipe appears in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Piani. <laughs> it literally does, though. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> Detective mode engage. All right. Um, so the auto doc, uh, the auto doc, like, beeps, and on the screen next to you, Eric, it says, like, um, uh, please sit still. When ready to re engage, or is it like reset the bone? Press. The button, and it's got a little like button of like an arm going boop, boop, yep. boop. <laughs> I just say, please sit still. This mm-hmm. won't hurt, or maybe it will. Boop. <laughs> okay, you press it, and yeah, you the you hear like the machine go the sound of like the the um, inflatable cuff thing uh, fill, and then there's a yeah a little pneumatic sound, and there's a kind of a snap, and she yeah she like screams a little bit, and then like manages to like bite down on the rest of the scream and like choke it off and then again gets really pale and sweaty and kind of is like leaned against the auto dock she's sitting and she's leaned against it and uh she says um please i i don't i don't know anything else about the job i we get dispatch and then they tell us where to go we pick up the package we drop it off i i had a hundred more of those to do today now they're all over the middle of sun square ah fuck um, so look, hey, if you let me go, I, I can just say I crashed my bike. I, I don't have to tell them about, like, getting shot or, or any of that stuff. Where'd you pick up the money? What what money? The money in the package. I know you didn't know, but that's what was in it. Where'd oh. you pick it up? Uh, um, dispatch. Uh, we, we've got, they're all over the place. Uh, I go, I punch in my employee number, and you know that thing on the back of my bike it just attaches to the bike and uploads all the data into my pad uh and she like reaches to like behind her she's got um like a cyclist pouch on the back of her jacket she's like it's in there and like leans forward i i add i just grab that shit and okay. plug it into uh, the closest terminal eric the machine starts the auto dock starts to like deflate the cuff but that'll mean she can move you can just hold it and she won't be able to get her arm out yeah I, i'm just like Boop. okay Boop. all right so yeah, maybe she starts to move and then doesn't because it, it closes on her arm. Uh, okay, so you, you plug it in. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Um, 
There's a there's like a security block on it, like it asked for her password. I actually walk it over to her mm -hmm. okay. and like put it out for her to put the password in. Okay, yeah, she she puts her thumb down on the corner, okay. uh, and then it it blinks a couple times, and then opens. Uh, the little white hot like logo, of the comet whew, flies by, and then um, her uh, a long list of bright red like blinking uh, addresses appears <laughs> on the screen, and it immediately starts to beep, and it's like beep 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 beep, and she she squints and shakes her head, and it looks like that noise causes her more pain than her arm ever did. All right, so. Um, can I just immediately go down to what would be, what would correspond with the, I guess the first one, because I'm assuming she didn't say she completed this. Yeah, you can see that the the address, the very first of the incomplete deliveries uh, that's blinking is the the square. Okay. Um, and like, what sort of information is contained? Uh, it has a location, uh, and then there's a note section you can pop open, and it's got a picture of uh, of song. Um, it looks like a mugshot, actually, um, and uh, it just says the ID of the envelope uh, and uh, to deliver it to this guy, um, and the name on it is just John Doe, basically. Like she didn't know his name. Does it there have? Uh, I want to know, but what information can I find on the sender? Um, nothing on the sender directly. The couriers don't know who that is, but it does have a job, like a central job number. Um, so this is like delivery A46-47B or whatever. Right. And that number would identify it in central dispatch. So we would have, like, the only way we could know is if we had that number and contacted central dispatch. Yeah, probably. I mean, so right. it'd be in the it'd be in the database in in or central. hacked central dispatch. Well, or we could just ask her to call. Or we could hack it. <laughs> or you could hack it. We'd have to like go to central dispatch. Unless I can hack it from one of the terminals around the city. Uh, now, there's yeah, too much FPS in this game. You'd crash. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm stuck after using this terminal. <laughs> Piani Fuck. walks up to the terminal Fuck. and just stands there forever. It's that <laughs> old Cobalt charm. Teleportation. <laughs> All of his games act like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. um. <laughs> exactly. Higgs, you're now 40 feet tall. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I can just go to one of these terminals and try to hack it. Sure. Um, there's a while you're looking at the at her um, uh, her like hardened like compad. Uh, the corner starts to blink, and even though it's not, it hasn't been a phone for thousands of years. The little icon on the little blinking corner is still a phone. The little vibrating lines coming out of it. Um, and uh, yeah, she's like getting a call. Does it say? Does it have caller ID? Uh, no. But well, the com the compad is like one of those jury those like iPads you see at a restaurant that only runs one kind of proprietary app. There's only one person who would call her. They're probably calling to be like, "Why the fuck have you not done any of your deliveries?" Um, I actually step out of the room, assuming okay. that that's the call. Mm -hmm. That you know, I step out of the room, mm -hmm. and I answer. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, it, uh, a voice comes through uh, and is like, uh, "Stavopoulos, it's dispatch. You're six jobs behind. What the fuck's going on?" Dispatch, yes, hello. My name is Jane Montgomery, and uh, I uh, I have some terrible news. Unfortunately, the woman who is making deliveries for you has been in a crash in one of the squares. Um, I saw this uh, going off. I decided to let you know. Um, I don't have any other information I could share at this time, but I can probably tell you that these deliveries aren't being made today. It's like a long pause, and they're like, uh, all right, ma'am, uh, the system says the compad's in the uh, North Spaceport? 
Um, we're just going through our normal paperwork. We're also treating your employee. They did suffer a minor injury, but please don't worry. We'll have her back as quickly as we possibly can, uh, along with all of the contents that were, you know, we recovered. Uh, that's make all a, I have for you. All right, make a make a persuasion check. And what's your intent here? You want them just to like leave her alone and like yes. not get in the way? Okay. Yes. And maybe not get in trouble, you know? Like, oh, it was a crash. There's nothing you can sure. do. Sure. Okay. A persuade. Yeah. Charisma and if you have persuade. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How'd you do? It's I pretty got good. A six. Uh, okay. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. One. Pretty good. Okay. Um,. I think uh, I think you bought some time, so like they um, the the dispatcher says, um, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to my supervisor about this. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna I'll, I'll get in touch, and then they hang up. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So you bought yourself some time for sure. Okay. Um, well, uh, maybe maybe I go back in and I just say. So I talked to your employer. I let her know that there was a little accident. Not your fault. The deliveries won't be made. But we got to get you taken care of here. And we'll get you on your way. She nods. Meanwhile, Alferius, will you escort me to one of the terminals? Yes. I guess I turn back and say, where's the closest dispatch terminal from here? Uh, she says, I, I saw one about five minutes outside the port. Sometimes we pick stuff up from the ships. It's not far. It's just right on the second entrance. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> we'll be back. Okay. Um, so you two, yeah, you two leave. Um, I have copied well, said information to, like, my compad now. So sure. Compad's yeah. left in the med bay, but I'm not, yeah. Okay. So she, she when you when you leave, she, um, she looks at you, uh, Higgs, uh, and says... Um, Sorry about the whole stun gun thing. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> really, I do have to pay for that. You I like know. to imagine his crotch is still wet and there's like snot smeared across the side of his face. <laughs> she, well, uh, foam still, you know. It's she, fine. She, she's like, I I've never had to use that thing on anyone on the job before. Uh, it's an ex-boyfriend, but... And you can see like her, her um, like she's she's a little like a little loopy now like all the adrenaline is still kind of like going through her system and her arm is better and she's kind of like just talking to talk yeah no I mean it hurt I, I could try it on have you ever been hit by one of those it's kind of fun actually <laughs> <laughs> roll, she, roll persuade JP <laughs> she, she laughs goes. she laughs she's like no I can't I can't say that I have my interests uh, are particularly different from everyone else's yeah <laughs> I was uh, I was surprised they let you live after that. That uh, that woman you were talking to, she's ruthless. She's killed the last four people she's interrogated, and that was just last week. She kind of squints at you. What the the little one? Yeah, don't let her size fool you. Huh? I would have thought the cyborg was the tough one in the outfit. No, he's actually into jizz music. He's kind of he's kind of a fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she she shakes her head. She's like, "Oh man, jizz is so played out." Yeah, yeah. I like the pineapple ones though. It's good. Yeah, yeah. way better than asparagus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we fade out on that conversation. <laughs> you could say we wide out on that. <laughs> so you just focus up on the on the light and goes white. Um, all right, so the two of you, Piani and uh, and Alfarius, uh, you're standing outside of a um, uh, WHC like terminal, one of the those cargo terminals that they would drive their bike up to, um, and all it has is a um, like a, a scanner uh, on one side, and then a big cargo door with a camera above it. Um, is there like a some way I can actually jack into it? I guess or like connect to it. Or I have to um, pull a panel off or something. Yeah, you'd probably have if you open it. There's probably a um, 
uh, like an actual terminal inside. Like it's not meant to be operated. Like people are, you can actually see there's a big sticker, like a peeling, like faded sticker um, that shows like how you, like you back your bike up to it. The bike click locks in, you swipe your thing and it just dumps a cargo thing onto the back of your bike and then you, you go. But it needs maintenance sometimes. So there, there's probably like a place you could unscrew and, and get in there. All right. Okay. Alfarius, uh, I don't think I can do this without them knowing. So even if we take out the camera, Someone's probably going to come and investigate. I doubt quickly, but can you maybe just punch that camera off? Just fucking make it not work anymore? I kind of follow her finger. You point at the camera, right? Yeah, there's a little, little like camera over top of the, um, uh, the, the cargo port. Yeah, I just snap fire and shoot it out, I guess. You could probably just punch it, but... Sure. No, I shoot. I shoot it. That's how we open doors. That's how we turn off cameras. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. So yeah, you you just shoot it. There's like a a, a whip crack in it. It just shatters. Um, and then you want to get to get to work there. Yeah. Now, what do you pull off this panel here? I shoot that too. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, don't shoot it. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I I, you, I you try to muscle the, it off. I guess or whatever. You shoot your you shoot your Phillips head bullets at it until it comes off. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can get your fingers in the in the side of the um, of the panel and just crack it off. Um, okay. Yeah. And inside, there's a a screen uh, and a um, like a mechanical, like an actual keyboard. Um, and the the terminal, uh, I guess, is off, but you can you can flip it on when you uh, when you open it. Okay. I do that. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it just like starts running uh, like a terminal diagnostics. Uh, everything works except the camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then it, it it asks for a login. Um, this is where I would begin to hack. Okay. <laughs> hack the commence, planet. Commence hacking. Okay, yes. so the, the keyboard uh, folds out and comes out in front of you, and you can tip away at it. And uh, go ahead and make a computer's test. And what's your what's your intent here? What do you want to get? My intent is to basically action? just find like who actually submitted this work order that I have. Sure. Right. We're trying to find the origin of where this came from. Okay, sure. Um, uh, if you get a seven or better, I'll tell you that. Uh, the further you go, like the higher up you get from seven, the more I'll tell you. Okay. The more you can ring out of the system. Okay. Well, let's... Can you re-roll this or no? I got a nine. Nine's good. Okay. I'm All right. okay with that. It's good, because you only had four chances to unlock this terminal. Um, good. So, uh, yeah, you, you manage to find, so you, you go backwards through the, you follow the protocol of like dispatch, uh, sends information to this terminal using that job number, but you follow the job number back into the database and it looks like it was paid for, um, yesterday afternoon, uh, in cash, basically like, uh, disposable, like cred transfer, uh, by a WB Hickok. Uh, at the um, like in person at the south uh, or southeast like terminus location, they have little shops that you can go into. And Adam, uh, yeah, W B Hickok, yeah. All right, <laughs> all right, I'm there with uh, you. Okay, I'm I'm trying to write down um, W B Hickok. Yeah. Okay. And what else? I'm sorry. What was the other information it gave? Oh, just the the retail location where it was it was like paid for. You did say cock, did you not? Uh, <laughs> that is that is one of the syllables in the person's <laughs> name. Yes. Okay. Um, White hot the company. And where is the, so where and then and then <laughs> these are not intentional. Like I promise. <laughs> um, it's this is a note I've had for weeks. It's really great how the pre-show can make a show just be completely different. Yeah. Swan yeah. Song. That episode where we were all five. That's the, that's the name, and, and it, it, there's a location in which it was taken out at? Uh, yeah, like they, they, they came in, dropped off the, the package. They dropped off the envelope, uh, this, this person, this WB, and, uh, and this was the retail location where it was dropped off. Okay. Retail... Wait, is what? What was it? Oh, it's just like it is. It's an address. It's just like okay. the south, um, okay. south terminal. Can I look for 
other instances of WB Hickok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can look for for that name uh, in the system, but you don't find it. Um, you run a it, quick search. It's the only time. Yeah, it looks like a, the only time. Okay. Um, and there's no other information at all. No. Okay. Um. Stand by one second. I don't know. <laughs> Hold I can, on. Hold I on. Trying to, I was trying to figure out if there's a way I could troll with this thing, but I'll just be happy with what I've got. Okay. Alpharis, we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you fucked up their camera. I stole their uh, data. Yes, it is shot. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you, uh, yeah, you, you head back to the swan song. So meanwhile, on the swan song, because that whole thing takes like an hour, um, Eric and Higgs and Lauren, what are the three of you up to? <sighs> I feel like if if mm, do I need to stand guard? I don't know. That's I, that's Alfer that would be Alfarius's call, but yeah, Higgs is the captain, so Yeah, I would say I'm I'm being as like Eric, you're probably surprised how kind and nice I'm being to this person. I've probably removed the restraints and yeah, okay. But you're you're kind of like taking care of her and seeing yeah, that yeah. she doesn't freak out or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I go to my room and I start tinkering with my thing again. I, I roll out the mat of, of doodads and start piecing more of them together. Okay. All right. Um, so what, uh, Higgs, what are you and Lauren doing when uh, Alpharius and Piani come back? Uh... Trying to think of what exactly. Is her arm still fucked up? Uh, no, it's 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 better now. Like she's got it, um, like whatever, so it it recovers properly. Um, but she didn't seem to be in pain. So and, she only has use of one arm. Yeah. So then maybe, maybe I'm cutting her food up, <laughs> feeding it to her <laughs> when they walk okay. in. All right. So you're doing that, and maybe she's like. Higgs, hey, like, you don't have to feel guilty. This is really not necessary. I can probably manage with... And then the, the two of you, yeah, walk in. And then, so Piani, when you come in, uh, Lauren goes quiet and kind of like looks at you like... Like, what? just gets really quiet and looks terrified of you. And like looks at Higgs like kind of helplessly. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm like, it's a fucking about time. I walk <laughs> up and I'm like, I think we got the information we need. I'm sorry you had to be a part of this. I hope pigs didn't bother you too much while we were gone. She looks at you kind of like, that's a weird thing to say. And she's like, no. Uh, yeah, no, I'd really like to go. Did Higgs try to offer you a drink? She looks down at, like, she's got, like, one of those metal, like, camping, like, mugs on the table. Well, of course I did, Piani. That's a nice thing to do. It's just I some just water. Kinda, I just kind of, oh, just water. Well, yeah, what else type? This poor woman, her arm is broken. What else would I offer? I thought you had offered her something a bit more stronger. No, why? Uh, no, unless she wants something. Do you, would you like something stronger? She she takes her head. She's like, I, I probably shouldn't. I should probably get out of here. Well, I mean, if you think that's best, by all means. Lauren. Hmm? We shared a moment today, this whole thing. I hope there's no hard feelings. She's like, yeah, I hope so too. I, uh, I like cut my hand and whisper to, uh, Lauren in her ear to tell her to never turn her back to Piani when she's walking off. <laughs> yeah. So, so here's what Piani, here's what you see. Higgs leans in and whispers something and she just like Homer Simpson's out of the room. Like As just she's slowly doing that, backs I'm just away. like, I visited one of the terminals. We just, Put a little insurance in to make sure you won't say anything. She shakes her head. She's like, no, I, I, I there was an accident. I got hurt. Uh, some Great. friendly strangers picked me up. I, I don't know. I don't remember much. Perfect. So she, yeah, she, she's like, okay. And, and goes like out of the room enough, but she's still looking at uh, Higgs and Higgs. She kind of like gestures with her head, like for you to like follow her. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, one. Okay, I'll be right back, crew. Uh, 
as you were. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I uh, as Higgs starts to like, as says that and walk out, I say, I like grab your shoulder real quick and I go, Higgs, I'm detecting that your body heat is increasing and your blood flow <laughs> Alfarious, is also. Alfarius, stop, please stop talking. <laughs> Alfarius, stop. No more. He kind of looks at you, gives that look, uh, doesn't quite understand. And it's like, carry on. Yes. Keep that stuff to yourself. No more detecting my body temperature, please. <laughs> or saying it out loud. Your blood flow is very healthy, though. I can tell that. Yes. I Okay. Lauren, uh, let's go outside. It's it's hot. Or it's it's colder <laughs> out there. Or something. All right. So she, um, yeah, she, she leaves the, the ship, goes down the, uh, down the like, gangplank curve, and then stops. And kind of, like, looks back up at the ship and looks at you and shakes her head. And she's like, y'all are a bunch of weirdos. Well. But, uh. She shrugs. She's like, never met a space captain before. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, are you like gonna be on the planet for long, or? Uh, you know, we. I don't. It <laughs> depends if we get killed by this bounty hunter. You know, it, it might be dead tomorrow. We'll see. So she she kind of like gets a little bit wide eyed. She's like, bounty hunter. Wow, cool. What are they after you for? Uh, you know the normal stuff. I killed a bunch of people and. I mean, Piani killed a bunch of people, and she's uh, like, "That's heavy." So you like got like framed for murder or whatever? Uh, no, she actually just killed a bunch of people, and we're all. It, oh, you're all in on it. I, I get it. <laughs> no, no, not not. It's just Piani. It's not. Well, I could never kill anyone, Lauren. Why would you say such a thing? She's like. You can't tell if she's like disappointed or like relieved. Maybe both. I did once. Uh -huh. uh, I did once hit a person though last week. That was the first. Just square them right in the face. It was good. She's like, yeah, yeah, big time for firsts, I guess. And kind of like looks at her arm and like her empty like taser holster. Um, and she's like, look, I feel really bad about the whole like tasing you thing. And I know like a lot of weird shit happened this week. But like, if you're gonna be around for a while. Um, and she like reaches into her coat and she, she takes out uh, like a little card, like a plastic card uh, with a chip in it. She goes to hand it to you. She's like, we could like get a drink or something maybe. Okay, yeah. Let, I'll have to check with Piani. She uh, she runs a tight ship. She, so she's, she, like, when she, you take the card and you're like, I have to check with Piani. She puts her hands up. She's like, oh, I didn't realize you two are um, like a... No, I, I never date that midget. It's just uh, she's uh, she some she's sometimes runs the ship, and uh, I just got to make sure that we can we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, strong strong female character. I get it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so, uh, yeah. Oh. I'll uh, I'll give you a call uh, soon, Lauren. I'll. Yeah, you have a good day. All right. <laughs> she's like, well, it can't get any worse, right? No, it yeah, could I think not. Somewhere around that time. Alfarius also comes out, just kind of sticks his head out and says, uh, Captain, your shipment of extra-large sexual defense uh, skins is here. Okay, all right. Thank you, Alfarius. Again, another thing that you could keep to yourself, please. This time he kind of winks at like one eye turns off and turns back on and he goes back in. Captain, your space gonorrhea medicine is ready. <laughs> he said extra large sexual defense skins is what he said. Nice. Oh extra my long. god. Oh Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Uh, all right, cool. So she, um, yeah, she calls. Uh, she walks uh, far enough away, and then and then like uh, waves down. By the way, waves for a waves for a cab. And, uh, Should be up. back up immediately. Oh okay. Uh, but what what was that? She walked away. Oh, she just gets in a like a rickshaw, one of those auto rickshaws, and takes off. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say a stupid line, but I gotta <laughs> make sure we're back up. Oh yeah, okay. refresh it's back. Okay, we're good. Uh yeah, I just walked back onto the ship. Okay. Cool. So, uh back on board. Um what's the what's the plan now? Like Piani I assume maybe we cut to Piani having like just finished telling everybody about the next what piece of information got. you got. Right. Um okay. We've got a name. What? Anyone know anyone on the planet we could Reach out to and see if it's a name anyone knows. Yeah, uh, I mean, I just where met, on earth uh, are we? I met Hillary where? or Heather or whatever. We can talk her, ask her about it. What? Are we on Vanaya or the delivery girl? girl. We on Vanaya? Her uh, name is Lauren, by the way. 
We're in the... Uh, yeah, you're you're on, on Planet Vinaya uh, in the Gaxi system. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Plan I think it's Planet Vinaya Twin. <coughs> That's Vinaya. it. <laughs> Vinaya Twin. Yeah. yeah. A, jizz a jizzist from the past. A classical jizzist. Yep. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. So, uh, yeah, what do you want to do? You want to stick around on this planet? Do you want to continue pursuing this person that's after you? Or do you want to take off? Go some other place. I mean, you still got other shit to do on Vinaya, too, right? Yeah, what? We have a job from, uh, what's her? From. Not Mustafa. He's dead. Uh, Rajani. Rajani, yeah. Rajani. Then we, we got a job from her. That? Nope, you don't have a job from her. Uh, she gave Eric some information about. Uh, something about Eric's goal, the thing he was pursuing. Yeah. Let's see. Did I write that down? Where's my character sheet? Um, right, right, right. We investigated that uh, the Carswell Combine were the competitors of, of Dr. Ranjit Singh. But maybe Dr. Ranjit Singh was doing some freaky back, you know, back shed bullshit. And uh, the Carswell Combine is just like... Uh, they're legit psychic researchers, even though they're kind of Scientologist-y. So, um, <clears throat> like, that's kind of what we're supposed to be looking into here. That's a part of why we came here, was to look, yeah. at, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, Carswell Combine, they're a uh, psychic research and products uh, organization or corporation. Um, um, so, obviously, Eric is pretty interested in, in finding that out. And I guess if, we, if we're all sort of like sitting around talking, well, you know, what do we do? Eric says, well, we could look into this Carswell Combine and maybe they would have more information about Piani's eye. But I'll be honest, it kind of worries me that we have this person looking for us and we don't really know much more about them than a name. And to me, WB... Hickok sounds like a pseudonym. <laughs> you don't say. So, we don't really even know the name. I'd kind of like to put that to rest for our own peace of mind. Well, we did get uh, these four containers of drugs out of it. <laughs> 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 well, we could just get high. Like <laughs> that's the that's the rest of the show this evening. We get high, everybody and then roll. Everybody role play your characters as if they were high. We do yep. that for an hour and fifteen minutes. Exactly. Really yeah. Fun. I mean, Higgs yeah. sounds change. like a fucking fantastic <laughs> idea. Um, I'm 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 with Eric. We got I kind of I agree. What? I, I believe donning our. Donning the swan song would be ill-advised with a bounty hunter specially equipped for space combat after us. Yep. Our best survival <clears throat> potential and the security risk that I've clearly identified now numerous times would be that we make contact on planet where we have the advantage. Okay, yeah. So we can keep doing work here. Yeah, let me uh let me just try let me let me try to get a hold of someone and uh We'll see if I can get any more information. I should have done this a couple days ago. I apologize. I just, Apology I I was... not necessary for I do not know what you're apologizing for. So are you going to... Where are you going to make this call, Higgs? Your, your cabin? Or the, are you going to leave? Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then so, uh, if I get yeah. there, I'll find. As okay. he leaves, uh, I kind of go to Eric and say, Eric, if you could please watch over the ship in Piani, I'd should stay somewhere close to Captain Higgins in case he gets into more trouble. Oh, uh, okay. Are you, the two of you, leaving the ship? Uh, I kind of look over my shoulder as he's walking out. I'm like, I think he's going to his hotel room, but it's impossible to tell. I believe that is where he will procure a prostitute and perhaps satiate his need. I understand. The extra large sexual defense skins, right. Oh, no, that those were not real. I did that to tr to help persuade the woman to make intercourse with him. Oh, <laughs> make intercourse! <laughs> oh boy, you're you're an excellent um, flight person. I uh, don't see how that applies, but yes, I am a fantastic captain and pilot. But I think the term you're referring to is wing person. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, wing person. Good job. I'll be in touch. You used to be wingman, but it was politically incorrect, so a more liberal agenda made it into wing people. Wingman? That sounds so strange and so sexually exclusive. It's Why extreme. would anybody ever use that? Why would they? <laughs> it's too specific to be even remotely appropriate. I don't Indeed. understand. Indeed. With the six identified genders, it doesn't make sense <laughs> to restrict the only men. Why do you need any help well, being a girl in the first place? No, hang place? on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> the six was obviously something that was later overruled on and on my home planet as something that you cannot put a cap on, actually. There's more genders than there are stars in the sky. Next time on Genders Without Number. <laughs> I like that as far as that goes, Jeff, you're the guy from Star Wars sitting there, hands on the wheel of your X-Wing, sweaty, going, stay on target, stay on target. <laughs> There's too many of them. I can't hold. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so what are we yeah. doing again? I Eric, will be in touch with you in case there's any problem at oh, the wait. ship or with uh, yeah. with Peony or Pi. He gives a nod and turns around and walks out. Okay, awesome. Genders without number. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name That's of the so game. So good. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I was laughing earlier too because Leavington said with such hits as man I just like a woman and <laughs> I can't remember the other one he said it was <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus it's Wayne song Jesus Christ <laughs> this is very nearly the stupidest episode of the show we've ever had very nearly very nearly uh-huh. <laughs> Welp. So, uh, all right. Let's let's cut to Higgs. Let's follow Higgs to the to the hotel room. Um, someone has been in the room and uh, cleaned up the broken cell phone glass on the floor. Um, turned down your pillow. Put in, put some some like complimentary blue fever inhalers on your pillow. Um, and. Uh, yeah, and so you you get back and um, you have your 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 hotel room all nice and clean. What do you want to do? Uh, do I have a direct line to Fang? Did I ever get a direct um, line? I mean, a direct line would require that he was in system. Um, so you can message him and then see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I I just message him and say like, need the details on, uh, Antaro. Bowman. Bowman, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So. Oh, Fang crashes through your window. Does a barrel roll and stands <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Mailed Fang regarding Bowman. Okay, I gotta check where Fang is right now, but I'll I'll get back to you. He's not in this system, but he'll he'll yeah. contact you again. Do you want to do anything else uh, while you're in your hotel room? Uh, did they replace the liquor in the room? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I just go back to getting drunk. Then Higgs replaces that <laughs> yeah. in his stomach. Exactly. <laughs> I refill my liquor supply in my guts. Okay. Indeed. All right. Um, so where did you go, Alfarius? You followed him. Did you go with Higgs or are you just like tailing no. him? I'm not like trying to hide per se, but he was definitely – I mean we had that whole conversation while he's walking out. So I'm about that much ish behind and I'm not standing outside his door or anything like that. I actually think it's like tactically beneficial to try and see if anyone's tailing him. So I'm, you know, I'm I'm it, I'm watching his environment under the guise of him not knowing I'm there because I want it to be unaffected by him knowing that I'm there. Sure, sure, okay. Um, so yeah, you're just trying to be like the subtle bodyguard. So it's not so much that you don't want Higgs to notice you; it's you don't want it to look like you're following him if right. people are watching. Okay. So I'm sure. literally like I'm stopping at a stall and buying a pineapple or some shit like that and reading okay. things looking and perusing but i'm also like keeping an eye on him and maintaining a hundred foot radius or whatever sure okay uh why don't you make a perception uh test to okay yeah to see how how that goes is your tailing of uh higgs okay uh it doesn't look like anyone's following him um 
his, I mean, the hotel is in a like, pretty nice part of town with like wide streets and like cars going back and forth and stuff. And there's some like shoppers, uh, you know, moving around with, with bags, but nobody like tweaks your suspicion at all. It doesn't look like okay. anyone like hunting him or anything. Um, yeah, I assume as much, but also like if he was in trouble, I didn't want to be at the ship. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, so, Piani and Eric, what are you doing? So Eric, what is this some time? Yeah. What, what, sorry? No, go ahead. Yeah, if we've got some time at the ship, like, I wonder if, like, there's research that we could do into the eye at this point when it's... Well, I, I was basically instructed by Adam that the <laughs> only way I'm going to find out anything else further from what I've already found out is to actually... Yeah have someone who could know what the fuck it is. Yeah, well, that's the Maybe thing, Maybe we right? could research who to take it to. Right, we've got some leads that we could yeah. investigate more sure. into, I guess. Yes. Um, like, where's Pi during all of this? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, I mean yeah. like, where is that robot body? <laughs> the great, body? The great thing they... is that could have been in character with Pi saying both of those. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, I haven't seen Pi in a while. Where are they? Ever, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. Microwave says it. Yeah. Okay, just putzing around. Um, I'm in the microwave. <laughs> Let me see. So, Piani, we have two interesting leads. One is Dr. Ramjit Singh, though he doesn't know anything else off the top of his head, and it seems like maybe he's not the nicest person that he seemed when we met him. Um, oh, but that's right. yeah. the other lead that we have is the Carswell Combine, who they seem to have um, tipped off the government to Dr. Singh's research, perhaps removing him as a competitor, but, you know, perhaps also simply informing on someone who was not operating entirely within the confines of the law. So you think we should go talk to them? Well, they seem like the right people who could tell us more about your eye, at the very least. And at most, if, if we're there and we are able to find out more information about Dr. Singh, then maybe that could help us in the long run. Well, what maybe, are we waiting for? Maybe we don't need to give him his research back, but maybe it would be nice just for us to have it. Eric, I'm, I'll be totally honest with you. Like, my priorities are just the eye. I mean, whatever we do, it's fine. I'm, I'm in. But all I care about is finding out what the fuck in my, this thing in my head is. Oh, yeah, no. I'm also very curious about that. I would love to know more. But I'm generally curious about all SciTech. So the more information we find, the better. Well, so can we just walk up to these guys and say... I want you to look in my eye. We need um, to call him. Look into my eye. Assuming now, control. We learned <laughs> that the Carswell Combine are they like a big group of people? They're a yeah, they're they're a like a corporation. Um right. and, actually, and they're they're kind of like, like the other like side if, uh, outside of Hoveda, basically. If either of you uh well, if Piani for sure, I don't know about uh about Eric, but if Piani looked at her like pill bottle for her MES medicine, it would have the Carswell logo on it. Like mm -hmm. they're they're a big corporation with all kinds of different stuff they do, but it's all related to uh MES psychic ability, psychic technology, that kind of stuff. They're like a research group and a corporation that makes things related to that. Yeah. Well, I suppose we could always try to contact their central offices and see if we could arrange a meeting, but would I, as a, like, you know, as a r ranking psionics researcher within the Hovaden Caliphate, like, would I have any contacts that I could use with a culture role to, like, get us... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Hang on. Let me look in my Rolodex. <laughs> uh Is that an intelligence-based thing? Uh, no. If you're trying to just like make an NPC, it's charisma. Damn. Okay. Submit. Because it's your past charisma having set this up for you in advance. Yep. Eight. Nice. Uh. Very nice. Yeah. 
Uh, so there was a, you remember you went to, I don't know, you went to school with probably uh, a woman um, named uh, Lisa Al-Nasir. Uh, she worked for the Hovain government for a little while, but then was headhunted by the Carswell Combine and apparently is like some big deal, um, like head of some big deal department now. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I pull up my you know, data pad with my past contacts in it or something. I'm just scrolling through it and then I stop. I say, that's right, Lisa Al-Nasir. Okay, yes, she, well, she used to work for the Hovaden government, but the Carswell Combine made a better offer. Oh, well, good for us. Um, why don't I send her a message and maybe we can see if she'd be able to make us the introductions we need. Was she also a researcher, Adam? Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think, I mean, I think with this success, like, you, we, you can just have her be in this system if you want. Totally. If you just yeah. want to, like, call her up. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I want to, like, call her up and, and I want to appeal to, like, her sense of research curiosity and be, like, basically, you know, I've... I've entered into service with a crew. One of the member of the crew is another psychics. Well, we yeah, can, psychic. if you want. Like, I think, I think it's you. You just the fact that you made the role is enough for you to like meet face to face with her and like have this conversation. Sure. Um, so why don't we? Why don't we have that? Like, you and Piani, um, and uh, and Lisa are like in her office or something somewhere. And like, sure. You're, you're like, does that sound good? Okay. Um, is there anything Higgs? Is there anything else that you want to do? Um, before that happens, I just want to make sure I give everybody a chance to do stuff before we jump into another scene. Nope, nothing. Okay, and Alfarius, you're just on the lookout for for Higgs. Yeah, just are you out. just camped outside the room? Uh, I would say like I'm outside. I'm I'm like outside the building reading a hollow paper or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, or you could be if you want to. You could be in the lounge, like downstairs in the the first floor of the uh, of the hotel. Yep, okay. something like okay. that. All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, so we, we we cut to after you're like, oh, Lisa Allen is here. We can. Wipe to, uh, you're in an office. Uh, it's all like a decorated in like a dark, like an indigo color, like indigo and steel. Uh, all the different color or all the colors of the stuff in here. Um, there's a, a big Carswell like illuminated logo on the wall behind uh, behind her. She's got a bookshelf, like a legit actual bookshelf, but it's like um, like a collector's case, like it's sealed and locked. Um, and like above it, there's like a little temperature control indicator because it has actual books in it. Um, and they look really old, um, and uh, yeah, she's got a big, like, big metal, like, a desk uh, with a terminal on it. Uh, Lisa is how old are you, Eric? Sorry, you just flicked oh, there. Old, just a how old bit. are you? Thirty-three. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think she's probably about your age then. Um, okay. She's wearing a like a really fancy, like, nice looking business suit. Um, she uh, and she has a um, like a headscarf uh, on. Um, she's got little gold glasses, <clears throat> and you you're sitting there, and maybe her assistant um, he brings in like coffee for you. Um, and you're basically like we we fade in on on kind of the the tail end of your like small talk, and maybe you're both like laughing about like like she's like, and then do you remember they threw him in the fountain, and then you're like you're laughing. Yeah. And, yeah. Cool. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe Piani, you're being forced to do that thing when two people that know each other from a long time ago meet, and you're just like. Ah, uh, yeah. It sounds, sounds like it would have been a great. It sounds yep. funny. Yeah, <laughs> nice. The fountain. Mm. Yeah, they threw him ha, in. Ha, sure ha. did. did Brian was his name. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. So then she gets that kind of like serious, like, and now it's time to stop having the small talk. Uh, and uh, to the two of you, uh, she says, <clears throat> um, "So I assume you aren't just here to make small talk. How can I help you? What do you need, Eric?" Hmm. Well. Lisa, I, well, you know, the Hovaden government are sensitive to any kind of dissent. Well, you know me too. I'm not the most savvy of people. I ended up having to depart my position with the government a while back. But fortunately... Oh, that's, that's a shame. What are you doing now? Oh, well, it's actually been very interesting. I've signed on with the crew uh, of a starship as their mechanic 
And also I'm pursuing my own research in my downtime, which is very fulfilling. And maybe like I, I scratch like my neck where there's just like a hairline scar right here. <laughs> Um, yeah, she, she she kind of nods and she's like, well, as long as it's making you happy. It's fascinating, really. Sometime I'll have to tell you about a visit we made to a Richardson Scientific Science Lab. But that's a story for another time. Um, my companion here, Piani, is also a metadimensional extroversion syndrome um, sufferer like ourselves. And... She came upon a, a piece of technology, the likes of which I've never seen. It's actually, which eye is it, Piani, your right or your left? It's my left eye. It's actually, it's, it's an insert in her left eye socket, you can see there. It's an ancient piece of SciTech, and we're not entirely certain what it does. <laughs> she kind of raises her eyebrows at you, Piani, and she says, well... You're very brave for having that installed without fully understanding it. I, I'm quite attached to my own eyes, but she and now now that she like she, you noticed probably during the conversation like she looked at it a couple of times, but you weren't sure if she was like making eye contact or like staring at your weird eyeball. Can I use my eye because I was able to detect through auras if someone had MES? Yeah. Can I just like can I just see if she has MES? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you can shunt a point into the eye to activate the, the aura vision part of it. So like a PowerPoint? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, um, I guess I will need you to make a, uh, perception test to, uh, like read her aura basically. Okay. Uh, based off of uh, intelligence, in this case. Oof. Okay. Uh, her aura is very confusing. Um, you can, yeah, you can barely make much of it out. It's, it's, there's a lot of complex like, colors and patterns. Um, it is quite bright, which in the past has indicated, like if you look at Eric, and yourself, like the, you're all like have that sort of brightness to your aura. So there's a good chance. Plus, I mean, Eric said she has MES, um, but you can't pick up any more detail uh, right. about it. Mm. Okay, okay, that's fine. So Eric, you see Piani and and uh, Lisa share a kind of like long look at each other. Yeah. Um, and uh, and Lisa, I've probably has, seen this look a number of times among many psychics that I've you know seen interact. Sure. Uh, so she says to, I guess, the both of you, um, do you want me to have someone take a look at it for you? Uh, we could run diagnostics. Uh, I have a lab available. Uh, I believe there's something of a wait list, though. Will you be on the planet long? How long well, will wait? She kind of, like, awkwardly is like, I'm not sure I'd have to check with my assistant. It could be upwards of several weeks. It's possible that if the weight is in that extreme, we may depart for a, a bit and then return, though I think we were primarily here specifically to look into the eye, so it doesn't seem too bad to wait. Maybe, I can, go, maybe I can go ask Dr. Singh. He might be more apt to help. Nice. Uh... She loses her composure for like just a second. Like she kind of like her eyes get a little wide, and then she like leans over. She like leans her hand over and like presses a button on her little like calm device, uh, and is like, "I'm going to need not to be interrupted for a little while." And then she takes her hand off, and her assistant uh, in the other room is like, "Yes, ma'am." And then you hear like a click of like the door like locking, and she looks at you, <laughs> and she's like. Where did you hear about Dr. Singh? Oh, we ran into Dr. Singh a while ago. I just know he does some sci-tech things himself. I know his methods are a bit unorthodox, but from what I know, or at least what people say, he knows what he's doing. She shakes her head. 
Dr. Ranjit Singh is a dangerous individual. You should avoid him at all costs. Everywhere he goes, there's chaos, carnage. Trust me. And she looks at Eric like, please, Eric, stay away from that man. Can you tell me a little bit more about what kind of chaos he leaves in his wake? What, what sort of work does he do? She, uh, she says, um, <sighs> we've had some problems with Dr. Singh in the past. He was an employee of the Combine for some time and performed some research that was considered by the board to be dangerous to our public reputation. Missing people, experimental surgeries. The more that it came out in the trial, well, the worse we realized we were off having him involved with us and so decided to excise him from the company as much as possible. As for the details, well, I, I understand that they're legally still locked. The, the files are... I, I don't have personal yeah. experience with it myself. So so this is where, like, Eric gets a clever idea in his head, and he's sort of sitting there, you know, rubbing his face, like, oh, my, that's terrible. No, of course we wouldn't want to go to someone like Singh. No, we, we should ignore that idea, Piana. No, but such a shame for his research to go to waste. What a shame. Do you think that his research notes would have anything on, on the kind of artifact that Piani has found? She kind of like looks at you. I'm not, I'm not sure what you're getting at, Eric. Well, I mean, obviously the man himself is not someone with whom we want to associate, but you said he used to work for the Carswell Combine. Perhaps yes, his, his, notes... research, his research is our property and is part of R&D's library. I can't just give it to you, Eric. I mean, I know we've known each other a long time, but this is expensive intellectual property. Oh, no, of course. And we would be happy to pay for access. She kind of, like, looks at Piani. Like, and Piani, you're, maybe you're picking up on this, but, like, she looks at you like, really, like, can you help me out with this? Like, he's being Eric. Like, yeah, he's doing uh, the Eric thing. And, uh, and she, says, um, she says to you, Eric, that's not how it works. It's, it's not just about being allowed to look at it. It's very sensitive. And, and even by looking at it, you would devalue the property. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean anything by it, but I, I can't help you. Now, and she turns to Piani, now if you would be willing to sign uh, some legal documents, I might be able to put you to the head of research if we would be able to take a look at your eye ourselves and, um, of course, keep that research data uh, for our archives we would be willing to share whatever we found with you. But can we do it faster than two weeks? She nods. Oh, yes. Yes, of course, if you're willing to sign off. Um, well, I'm going to need my people to look at the documents, but can you, can you put them on this compad here? Yes, of course. I'll have my assistant take care of it. And All so right. she's, gone, she's gone from right. like... She's gone from like kind of nervous to like now there's this sort of like hungry like look in her eye where she's like you can see she feels like she's turned the situation around. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, so she says um just stop at the reception desk on the way out and they'll um they'll give you everything that you need. And uh, and she stands up in that kind of like I mean, I don't know, Eric probably doesn't pick up on this, but the like universal symbol for conversations over, get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. Totally. Uh, you know, Eric so, like, stands, stands up, up and, and goes to like shake hands. Yeah, yeah. I, I shake hands with her. I say, Lisa, thank you very much. I really appreciate your taking the time to see us. I know you have a very busy schedule. We will definitely take a look at those documents and we'll be right back. Okay. Well, then let's, let's be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why don't we do that? <clears throat> yeah. Let's take our, uh, our third and final break here on week. 38, not 28. <laughs> Replace one song. So we'll take this quick break, come back, and we'll go into the final hour after this. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you guys then.